The Cinema 4D Take system can store the states of a layer, just like it can the attributes of an object, material, or tag. And in fact, there's a new mode within the attribute manager of Cinema 4D to access the states of a layer. And you get to it by choosing the layer option from the mode menu. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this out into a new attribute manager. And we'll go ahead and unlock it, but lock the mode instead. And that way as we choose different layers, you'll see that the states over here update in the attribute manager. Now, you probably won't ever actually use this attribute manager because you can access all of the same things in a much more compact format here in the layer manager. But this new attribute manager is essential because it allows us to store the states of a layer in the take system. So if I create a new take, and let's just create a take that removes all of the bubble lights on the sign, the concession stand, and the main screen. So I'm gonna type no bubble. And now if I want to override the editor and renderer options for the geo lights layer here, I just need to go in and right click the visible and editor view and choose override. And the same thing with the visible and renderer view option. And now I can go ahead and uncheck those and you'll see over here in the take manager that those attributes have been overridden. Now, of course, you don't actually need to use this attribute manager because you can simply enable the auto take mode. And then we can go down here for the screen bubble lights and just turn them off. And we can do the same thing for the sign lights. And you can see in the take manager that all of those changes to the attributes were automatically applied to my take. So this attribute manager isn't something you're going to use a whole lot. It's just sort of an underpinning that allows you to manage all of your layers within the Cinema 4D take system.